Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Do you remember in Top Gun Maverick, in one of the first, first scenes where Maverick is a test pilot and he needs to go Mach 9, but then they're going to scrap the program because he ain't at Mach 10 yet? Well, I'm a test pilot for some shoes today. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is someone. All right, someone just got me some coffees. <laughs> Thank you to someones. I, I think someones are like my top buyers of coffee. <laughs> I appreciate uh, the coffee and I respect your um, privacy is what I want to say. But, um, but I appreciate the dark roast. Piping hot daily brew. Um, if you want to be my someone that buys me a coffee or be that someone that wants to join the coffee club, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to be that someone that hooks up the channel, you can contribute as much or as little as you like at Super Thanks. Link is below. Thank you to all the someones and the non-someones out there. Thank you so, so much. All right, guys. So, um, I've probably watched Top Gun Maverick close to a hundred times now. And I watched it on the plane to Japan. I watched it on the plane back. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know. It just entertains me. It just puts me in a good spot. Um, so in the beginning, when Maverick was a test pilot, you know, he needed to go Mach 9 that day. But they were going to scrap the program and they're like, Mach 10 was was the parameter or else it was done now it's done anyways so Mizuno sent me a shoe for testing I rarely actually get shoes that aren't produced yet this I think will be produced pretty soon but they actually wanted me to test the shoe uh, it is actually called I don't even know the name of it yet wave enforce tour AC and there's a bunch of numbers and stuff here and it says my name on it and a bunch of stuff I can't show you um I mean I'll show you what they wrote though I can't I gotta cover this part up so it says for me uh test men's and I can't show you the other stuff it's classified but let's take a look at the shoe look at that that's an aggressive looking shoe, isn't it? Let's take a look at the inside. It's a cool color. Look, see, there's a bunch of numbers in here too. A bunch of numbers. I can't show you, see? I can't show you that. <laughs> All right. I've already tried it on, I have to tell you, but I just wanted to... Uh, show you the sole it's a one-piece sole this is interesting though there's a hole right here i could actually feel the softness there and then it's cut through here so it's actually pretty soft yet stable because it's one whole piece across and it's attached out here this is going to be your stabilizer for the outside for the torsion so here's the thing, it's stable, but it's, look, it's soft. It's great, or it's going to be great, out of the box. Check out the lacing system here. Mesh with lines of rubber to hold you in. Wow, look at, do you see that? Hmm. So there's like a sock 
liner inside here. Oh no, it doesn't go all the way through, look. So this part holds you in back here and a little bit into the front. Oh, interesting. So it attaches down here into the lacing and then across here. So it basically cinches you in down and closes you off here so you don't move too much. So for those of you who uh, constantly tighten up your laces, a la Andy Roddick, this would probably be a good shoe for you. Because once you cinch yourself into these puppies, it's going to be, you're going to be in there. Hmm, what does this thing weigh? Let's take a look. Because it doesn't feel that heavy, which is interesting. Yeah, it's not that heavy. Ten and a half on a 407. You know, mine's is in the over 430 realm. So it's going to be a lighter, faster shoe. Hmm. And for some reason, Mizuno likes to go with this higher kind of a heel ankle thing here to hold you in a little bit better too. For the people who kind of have that Achilles issues. Interesting. Let's go try them on. All right. So the first thing I noticed is the tongue is on the thinner side like they've been doing in the Wave Exceed 5s so that when you clamp down, uh, it actually you can feel it clamping down so the cushion wouldn't get in the way. Okay, 10 and a half is definitely my size. <laughs> I can definitely feel it's perfectly perfectly perfect oh wow okay that's perfect spot so the laces covers up uh, the laces is right under this tongue this tongue is actually in a good spot right there so ooh did you see that? That dro that tongue went in here, that tongue went in there. I have wide feet. I'm comfortable in this thing. My toe is right about there. If you get this shoe, if you're able to get this shoe, get it in your size. Don't go bigger, because you don't need it. Oh, wow. Okay. I actually feel a slight arch. Good cushioning. Wow. It's firm, but soft at the same time. That, that's, it's a weird feeling. I'm high off the ground. I could feel the cushion in the front. Okay, I get you. The heel has great support. I'm definitely in this shoe. I'm not going to slide out. Wow. It definitely fits. Wherever I go, this shoe's going to go. And it feels light. Light. Why does it feel so light? It feels like I'm floating on a cloud. Huh. Okay. Wow. I'm actually excited to go on a court with these just to see how they are. So let's try them out on the court. See you there.
All right, so we just got off the court with the Mizuno Wave Enforce Tours. I thought these were pretty comfortable. Um, they fit pretty well, but what do you think? Here, hang on to that one. Oh, wow. I asked someone to hold the mic today. This is great. Um, it's a little high, bud. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, so overall, this is a great shoe. I can hold on to this one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, he's been replaced. Sorry. He's been replaced. I'm just kidding. I love Chris. Um, but uh, overall, this is a great shoe. This is the Mizuno Enforce Tour. Um, honestly, it reminds me of a gel resolution, the Asics gel resolutions. It has that extra cushioning. It has that extra padding on the side. Um, I love his double sock. Usually, the stuff back here will hit you or... For me, it would bother me because I do wear low socks or short socks. But with this extra padding and that extra length, you won't feel anything. And it actually provides pretty good cushioning in the back. Um, overall, really good traction. And yeah, I mean, Mizuna nailed it on this point. I mean, they've been making really good shoes. They've been shoe of the year with the Wave, with wave, wave Exceed 4. Uh, fours. And this is another great addition to the family of um, Mizuno. So awesome job. Chris, Mr. Slidey Man. Uh, it's great. I like this shoe. It's very comfortable. That's the first thing when I slipped into these. I think that it's uh, uh, very in line for competition for um, for Asics. I think this is like Mizuno's. They got the lighter ones, the Asics Tour. Those are the lighter ones, and these are just a bit heavier because they've got a little bit more um, grip to them. And I've definitely felt that on the court for sure. Um, Again, I think really responsive shoe. Like when you first slide them in, they didn't really feel like you need to break them in at all. And um, definitely not as stiff. So again, easy, just very easy to wear for anyone. So definitely recommend this. Um, great shoe. I like the way that they added the second thing in, as I was saying, and you oh, guys I liked did. it too. Yeah, liked so, it so it held you in a little bit better. It actually clamped down pretty well. Um, we this well without any discomfort. Right. That's, that's, exactly. That's what a lot of All this. Layers do. It's when you first wear them, especially. Oh, thank you. Ah, that feels better. Okay. Um, what I like about the second layer is usually I remember um, with the Nike was it the Nike Vapor Air Maxes or, or the Cages, their second liner wasn't as good. It was pretty thin and actually was very uncomfortable. You had to break it in for a few days. This, they actually, you could tell they really took attention to, and it really molded your feet in a really comfortable way. Right. It's like wearing a sock. Exactly. Right? It's wearing like another pair of socks, but it has the cushioning, it has the support that you need. It's honestly a really well made shoe overall. Even the design, this reminds me of like those, um, you know, circus balls kind of thing. <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's, it's a little weird. An elephant? It's a little, probably. But, but it's it, supposed to be a wave, huh? It's supposed to maybe, oh, probably, yeah, wave. could be a wave. That's could be right. a wave. Wow. I mean, Dr. Chris hey, comes through again. Peep the, peep the shorts with the waves over here. Um, but no, and, and my shoes, just in case. I'm kidding. Um, but no, getting off topic here. Um, like I said, this is a great addition to the Mizuno family. Um, hopefully, they have six month warranties on these puppies. I think they do. If I they think. do, I think... Don't quote us on yeah. that, but Don't, I yeah, think do they not quote probably us. do. But if they do, this is really... I would say even college players should take a look at these shoes. Yeah, for They're sure. They're really good for shoes. For sure. Pro-level shoe right here. Yeah. Very stable here. Easy, easy, maneuverable, torsion response. Yeah. Firm enough so you don't roll an ankle, but soft enough where you can actually get on your edges quickly. So, you can... Can you slide? It's still very... I think it's like... Mm, I would say that it's on this definitely a little bit more tacky. more tacky. Um, we gotta sand it down a little for you. Yeah. I think I think yeah, I agree with Chris. It's a little more tacky. Uh, it takes a while to you know break in. It's, the traction is great. That's yeah. the biggest thing yeah. about these shoes. Yeah, the traction there. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of traction on those shoes. So yeah, so um, breaking yeah, okay. breaking them in. But like like I said, it's that's the reason why you wear tennis shoes, right? Is to make get sure traction. you get a lot more traction and. <laughs> When you break them in slowly, with especially with the soles, it would be a lot easier to transition to this slide. I think sliding these shoes wouldn't even be a problem, right. I think. Yeah. It's just like, you know, over time. Right. All right. So, guys, Coach Chris, are we done examining? Yep. Where can they find you? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis.
And that's it. It. All right. Coach Goon, where can they find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Thank Gosh, you for watching darn. Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Out. The ball was in. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. The ball hit the paint. Paint flew up. Did you not see that? Are you blind? You need an eye doctor. You cannot be serious. Oh, wait. I have swing vision. The ball is in.